More than a dozen female residents of Gilmore Homes, a public housing complex in West Baltimore, came forward in 2015 claiming maintenance workers demanded sex in exchange for repairs to mice holes, mold, dangerous electrical problems, and more. Last year, several women received an $8 million settlement from the city, while on the criminal side, 48-year-old Doug Hussey and 61-year-old Charles Coleman were charged with assault and harassment. But now, both have been cleared after the charges were dropped. In a statement, the attorney representing the women in the civil lawsuit writes, Our clients were in the courthouse, available for trial, and prepared to testify against the defendants. The prosecution dropped the cases against the wishes of our clients and without consulting our office. I have no idea why the state's attorney would choose not to prosecute such an important case. Not true, says state's attorney spokeswoman Melba Saunders, who detailed a two-hour meeting with the women to explain what happened. There were recent variables that caused insurmountable problems with the legal provability of this case. Not an issue of credibility, but an issue of legal provability. After speaking with the alleged victims once again, they were unable to uh, pinpoint when these alleged acts occurred. Attorney Warren Brown represents Coleman and calls the entire case farcical. I think these uh, ladies decided they didn't want to be involved in this. Uh, they got paid out of the civil case. Uh, they're out of those deplorable circumstances that they were living in. And they just decided that they just wanted to move on. And since Coleman is now in the clear, his attorney, Warren Brown, also tells me they're exploring legal action so he can try and get his job back. Now, also late tonight, I just got a statement from the Housing Authority. They say they did a top-to-bottom review after these allegations for surfaced in 2015, and they have made numerous changes, they say, to benefit residents. Live at the Mitchell Courthouse downtown, Adam May, WBAL-TV 11 News.